Today, let's talk about displeasing the Philistines. You'll know what I mean when I read to you today's text. 1 Samuel chapter 29, verses 6 and 7, where we read, Then Achish called David and said to him, Surely, as the Lord lives, you have been upright, and your going out and your coming in with me in the army is good in my sight. From this day I have not found evil in you since the day of your coming to me. Nevertheless, the Lord's do not favor you. Therefore, return now and go in peace, that you may not displease the lords of the Philistines. David had lived with the Philistines like a Philistine, for some time. We don't know exactly how long. David had become so comfortable with the enemies of Israel that he was ready to fight with them against his own people. Yet the Philistines didn't want him, and they told David that he could not fight with them. The Philistine leader who told David used an interesting phrase. He praised David in the name of Yahweh, the covenant God of Israel. He said, surely as the Lord lives. Now, we don't know if he was just being courteous to David by using the name of Israel's God or if Achish really believed in Yahweh. Still, the Philistines rejected David. Achish said, nevertheless, the Lord's do not favor you. Now, David said before that he couldn't be happy or at peace in the land of Israel. That's in 1 Samuel chapter 27. Now he found that the Philistine friends that he thought he had would not accept him either. David had no home. He was trying to live in both worlds, so he had no home either among the Israelites or among the Philistines. No doubt, David didn't like being rejected by the Philistine rulers. Not many people like rejection. But God would use this rejection from ungodly people in David's life. Many people are hesitant to live out and out for Jesus Christ because they're afraid of rejection. Friend, it is much better to be all out for Jesus and to trust that the ungodly, if they reject us, God will use it for good, for our good and ultimately for their good. In many ways, David was in the worst place for any child of God to be. He had too much of the world in him to be at peace in God, and he had too much of God in him to be at peace in the world. God spoke to David through these circumstances, but David had to listen. So Achish told David to go home so that you may not displease the lords of the Philistines. What a change this was for David. David used to displease the lords of the Philistines all the time. He used to be a mighty warrior for the cause of God. He used to strike fear in the heart of every enemy of God. Now David was sad about displeasing the lords of the Philistines. Was this the same David who fought Goliath? Could you imagine someone coming to David before that battle and saying, Excuse me, David, I don't think you should fight the Goliath. You you might displease the lords of the Philistines. You see, before this season of compromise, David might say, well, of course I'll displease the lords of the Philistines. I want to displease the lords of the Philistines. I can't wait to displease the lords of the Philistines. Let me know if I ever stop displeasing the lords of the Philistines. But all of that was a distant memory in this time of backsliding and compromise for David. At this moment, David was lost in the fog of being more worried about pleasing people than pleasing God. It would take something dramatic to bring him out of this spiritual fog. God knew how to bring it. But look, let's take away this. Most of us don't like to displease others, but most of all, we must be concerned about pleasing God and honoring Him first. May God give each one of us that mind and that heart, and may God grant that to us today.